Hello, Sim here. So I thought I'd do another update video to tell you guys what new features are available in the current beta firmware for 1.02.7 that's available to download from the NetDoomer forums. I'm going to leave a link in my video description. So for those of you who have no patience whatsoever or are lazy, there's the change log on screen. So you can pause the video to read it to your heart's content. But I'm going to just cover the main features of interest. So I'm going to go to the host filtering page, the geo filter, and this is the thing that makes the NetDoomer unique. So you'll notice I've got PAs here now, not just PlayStation Network service. So that's one thing. It's called ping assist. And here it is down here. I'll cover that in a minute. Another sort of useful thing that's definitely been wanted for some time is simply a greater magnification on Zoom. So I can get really crazy for me for the UK. Select 15. Zoom in. And that's just, for me, nuts. But if you're in North America or whatever, you'll probably want that type of zoom, where maybe, for example, for me, a 5 would be sufficient. So I can zoom in, and there we go. I get a 5. So now I can see what's really going on a bit more clearly. OK, so let's come back out. What is this ping assist sim? So if you've done your upgrade, what you normally do is you go here and let's say I'm doing the Xbox One, press next. Normally you would have had Xbox Live, for example, or PlayStation Network, if that's what you've got, which is down here. But then now you've got Xbox Live ping assist and PlayStation Network ping assist. Now, if after upgrading you don't see it, just simply do a Control F5, a hard refresh in your browser because it's got cached stuff. So that will make sure that this displays. So that's the workaround. Then you select the Xbox. Uh, live ping assist, do done, and hey presto, you've now got ping assist. Now I've already got it selected, so I don't need to do that, but that's what you do. And you can see by default I've got this enabled because I predominantly play on my Xbox One for Call of Duty. So, what a ping assist does means really that, well, sometimes you'll get uh, hosts that, that uh, come up on the map saying, I'm over here in the USA or Canada. And but what happens is it says, oh, that's where it is. So I'm not going to connect you. But then if you do a ping to it, it's like 15 milliseconds. And it's like, no way. I'm over here. 15 milliseconds to get over there. Basically, what it means is that the the physical address, you know, in the world is completely wrong. So the ping assist helps uh, get around those type of problems. And ensures that you connect to people that you'd not normally connect to. So it's another mechanism of way of improving your gaming experience. Uh, it defaults to about 30. There's recommendations by the main developer, Ian, who says, oh, I'll set up to about 48, 50, something like that. And you'll be fine. Um, I've been playing about with it. I've been playing out with another beta. And uh, I've had it on 32. Because uh, guys who are paying attention will notice that I've set my home to sort of well, not the UK, because I wanted it there, and I deliberately didn't want Ireland because there tends to be a lot of jitter for any servers that are on this particular part of the world. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things. So from a gaming point of view, I've excluded it by putting my geo filter over here. So I will come back and show some other stuff in a moment. Uh, what I want to do is pop over to miscellaneous because this is another major change there's a lot of um, bits and pieces on here so i didn't cover a deep packet processing in my last setup video what that means is well if you're on pcs and you're game on pcs you this host analysis tab here does wonders for you and gives you all your stats but for anybody on consoles you don't do that so you might as well untick it and uh, it doesn't have to do any unnecessary data processing even though it's like a millisecond even if that you know it's absolutely split second stuff so it probably will make no difference but if you're absolutely paranoid and you want the best performance because you're only a console gamer untick that now there's a reboot router button now so that's a handy thing so if things need you need a reboot you can do it without you know having to power it off or pull it pull, pull the plug out the back of the router now the thing that you will notice now is that we've got auto cloud or cloud settings so you can set it so I have it on auto, and that's what, prior to this, it would have always been. It would have just been automatic cloud updates. And if you like to live on the bleeding edge, 
yep, you can tick the bleeding edge. And if, you, if you're experiencing problems and want to roll back, you can roll back your cloud. So the higher the number, the newer the update. So what the heck does, not try and select one, whitelist mean? Whitelist simply means matchmaking servers. That's the things, or that's the servers even, that get you into a lobby with other players. The game server maps or cloud file is all to do with these are the dedicated servers. What ones are they? So it's clearly identified and helps it out. And then the map, where well, I've talked about it earlier, to do with ping assist and things like that. This is the whole thing that says, well, this IP address, I believe it's in Spain. And actually, that IP address is really in the UK, for example. So that's all the data that gets pulled off the cloud, stored locally onto your router, I guess, really. So it's then used by the host filtering algorithm. So if you want to, if you're experiencing problems and it was like it was working okay yesterday, you might want to then go, okay, well, it's, uh, it was 10, so I'm going to set it back to 9 now, for example. But for now, I'm going to leave it on auto. And then you click apply cloud settings and then it updates. So if I go back to host filtering for now, and what I'm going to do is fire up Call of Duty in the background. Um, so I might be doing some video cutting in a second um, as I load up the game. So I'm kicking off uh, multiplayer right now. And we're now on the Xbox Live screen, and you can see the big uh, circles, white circles. So that's the matchmaking servers coming in. I'll scroll it down a bit more. Here's the yellow ones, which are the dedicated servers. Padlocks for you know, those servers that are out of range of your region that you've specified. So then if I want to go and find a game, so that's what I'm going to try and do now. Uh, click Find, Standard, and I'll just go for some Team Deathmatch. In a minute, you'll see like red circles and stuff when it gets me into a lobby. And there we go. So you've got a load of red circles on the screen. And if I zoom in, for example, so that's the guys. And you saw a load of yellow uh, caution sort of signs over here. So basically blocked players that the game, the matchmaking service was trying to put you in. So if I zoom in, for example, because I just wanted to cover another feature. So I didn't cover it last time, so I thought I'd cover it now. So here, let's imagine that this was the big, big red circle whilst you're playing a game. So that's the guy hosting it on their Xbox or PlayStation. Once you've done that, you've now got them down here. It tells you what they're away. And you can click ping. And go and get the ping of that player. So you, could, you can do this whilst gaming and other things. So once you're at the beginning of the game, you haven't quite got into it yet. You can do this. Click on the host, click ping, see what it's doing. And see what it's going through the... Uh, What's, what's happening during the match. And then, for example, let's say it's going all over the place, really spiky up and down and all this sort of jazz, and, and you're getting weird stuff going on, then uh, literally you would set, like, let's say, set it to 5% or something like that. Type in, like, a name like Bad Host or whatever. Click Update. And then what you'll see, if I get my mouse on the scroll bar, is that that little white circle will appear in here depending on that. So you can see I've blocked some bad hosts already because I've had some bad gaming experiences going, this is all over the place. This is a, I don't want to be gaming with that person again. Similarly, if you've got a mate that you're gaming with, and let's say, for example, he's an Irish mate here and I happen to be blocked at the moment, so he'd automatically be excluded. If I temporarily turned off uh, the whole uh, geo filter in strict mode, which is strict, strict, uh, I could click on that red circle over here whilst I'm in my lobby, do the same sort of dealio, but scroll them all the way up to say like 100% or 95, something like that. Click update, and then um, what would happen is that your mate would appear over here in the allow and deny section. Uh, so in the allow, in the green, so i.e. the router will allow him to connect to your lobby. And then obviously you just switch it on again. Uh, so if you've clicked that, disabled, so it's off, and then click it to re-enable it. And hopefully that made sense. So that's the main updates. Another cool feature, and I'm going to show you this, and again, I'll probably have to do some internet um, or even video cutting, is that you can actually do uh, some ping diagnostics. So it's even better than speed test and um, pingtest.net to really find out, is your internet speed good? And if you've got problems and stuff. And before I do that, uh, if you're having gaming problems, they've now put a couple of... Uh, 
links to both the PlayStation and Xbox uh, for uh, the effectively the online status. So PlayStation or Sony or Microsoft reports that they've got issues. Clicking on that will open up another tab and you'll see what's going on. But if I click Run Test, and basically when it's doing this, it's saying, oh, you want to proceed because I'm going to completely cut you off from the internet, and that's what it's going to do. So I'm going to click that, let it run, and I'll probably cut the video for a second for when it comes back with results. So there you go. It took about over just over a minute or so. I wasn't really timing it, and as expected for me, I got exceptional, 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 and no packet loss whatsoever. So I got excellent internet. Uh, if you've got problems, you can click on Show Details and it gives you more diagnostic techie stuff, uh, which apparently you can then go and take to your ISP um, to go and get them to fix it or something along those lines. As always, feel free to go and check out the NetDoomer forum. I will be leaving a link in my video description too. So I think that pretty much uh, covers it and sums it up. You've got cloud update stuff, fancy stuff in the miscellaneous here. Pretty much leaving on auto. Um, but if you want to tweak it, you can. And now you've got ping control. We go to this one. That you've got, and if you don't see it, don't forget to press control F5 to do a hard refresh in your web browser of choice. So as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Feel free to drop a comment. And if you're not always subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this has been Sim.